Hello, literary enthusiasts and fans of Shogun. Today we're delving into the poignant world of poetry within the show, specifically the enigmatic leafless branch poem recited by Lady Mariko. Join us as we unravel its layers and reveal the hidden messages interwoven in its verses. Lady Mariko's leafless branch poem is a masterful use of winter imagery to convey a message of separation, loss, and the impending doom that looms over the characters. Despite the spring setting in Japan, Mariko chooses winter motives, a decision that perplexes some but carries a weighty significance. The poem is a subtle yet powerful communication to Ochiba, whose name translates to fallen leaves. If Ochiba is the fallen leaves, then Mariko, through her poem, positions herself as the leafless branch, symbolizing their natural distance over time one. Mariko's words are not just a reflection of her own fate, but also serve as a cryptic warning to Aochiba about the winter-like death that awaits through Toranaga's aspirations to become Shobin one. It's a foreshadowing of both the political upheaval and Mariko's personal sacrifice. Yabashige's criticism of the poem for being out of season highlights his lack of poetic insight. He fails to grasp the deeper implications of Mariko's fate and the thematic resonance of her choice of imagery. Interestingly, the poem connects to Mariko's real-life inspiration, Hosoko Wagracia, and reflects the bittersweet nature of life and the constraints of society. It's a testament to the enduring bond between Mariko and Ochiba, strained by the roles they must play too. Lady Mariko's leafless branch poem is a beautiful yet haunting piece of Shogun's narrative, it encapsulates the essence of the character's journeys and the inevitable end that awaits. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of one of the show's most memorable literary moments.